This area is pretty wet over here. Pig pen is pretty flooded out. But welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. It is the morning after I just walked outside. I'm actually not opening up the barn yet, but I am walking to the barn because I ended up letting Penelope into our house yesterday because she was not sheltering good for some reason. Like she's never been out during a hurricane. So, and I guess I have more to talk to you guys about that here soon. So I ran out and I got her. Come on, Peg, let's go. Penelope, come on. Penel, come on, you want to eat? Let's go. Come on, pig. Come on, Penel. Come on, Penelope. I just don't want to go too far. Come on, Penel. Come on, pig. Let's go. Let's go inside, baby. Go. Go inside. Good girl. So now I'm bringing her back over to this pasture over here. Hey, Penel. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's a little wet right here. Just gonna stop. Take a quick pee. All right, Penelope, come on. Lots of animals are yelling at me this morning. over in this pasture with the evacuees and everyone's nice and high and dry. We had some tree casualties so you can see that's where that tree snapped. It's on the ground here. Then my neighbor had some trees fall on her side of the property that ended up landing on our fence so we'll have to figure that out. It's pretty wet over on this side when we get closer to the chicken coop. But the sand did help. So I'm grateful for that. But there is some areas of high ground. Inside the chicken coop is perfectly fine. Feed is fine. They will be good in a couple days when the water starts to ease up. This area is pretty wet over here. Pig pen is pretty flooded out but they do have dry ground in there so inside the pen stayed dry but this fence right here got hit by a tree so there's the end of the tree and I'll back up and show you the tree that ended up snapping okay I have to go a little further so that tree right there ended up snapping and falling into the pig pen over there my neighbor's tree over there uprooted and that one ended up falling on our pig pen back there. Animals are good over here. The goats are nice and dry. You're so cute. And then these evacuee donkeys are good. They stayed out most of the time though, so they're drying up, which is good. Hi. So I'm up on the skits tier and we're just getting a good look at everything. Pastures obviously are flooded, but nowhere near the barn. The barn looks great. Everything looks really good. Okay, so it's time to open up the barn. Checking on everybody. 
Everybody is good and happy in here and dry. There's no water in the barn at all. Very happy about that. This back area looks good. We lost a tree branch, not a lot of leaves, but still good back here. The horses are eating grain right now. We've opened up all the windows. Blaze is done, he's ready to go out. Dinky, we've taken off halters. Mike's just opening up that last window. We've took off Louie's halter and we also took all of the cow tags off of them just so that we can save them for another hurricane and they don't lose them. Now that all the horses are done eating grain, as you can see, they're eager to go out because they're just staring at us. We're gonna let out Trigger and June up to the front pasture and then we're gonna let out Louie, Cash, and Blaze with Dinky out to the back pasture. These guys are happy to be back out and grazing. And then Trigger over there and June right here, she's eating hay. He's like, no, I'm going over here. I wanna be out here. He's gonna come up here though and get some hay. barn is back open and everything is almost back to normal again. It's been almost five days since Hurricane Milton. The birds. A lot of the water has dried up in the back here. The back pasture. The backyard is looking a lot better. This front pasture is still pretty wet, but up front it is starting to dry up a bit more. So luckily the past couple days we have had pretty good weather. So hopefully this dries up quick, but it is still holding a good amount of water. So a little update on the storm is because it was speculated to be so big and so destructive and don't get me wrong, it was. Um, but at the end there, it kind of started, to my knowledge, I'm not a weather woman, to weaken up a bit more than expected and kind of break up a bit more. So the initial thought, I think, was that the storm was going to be a lot worse than it was. And that is like phenomenal news. I'm super grateful for that. And I'm grateful that my animals were perfectly fine. So everything is good. Like I said, we just had a couple things that broke, but Mike fixed the area right here with the pig pen just put those boards back because we didn't want to have the pigs come out or anything like that so that area is fixed once again so aside from that we still have all the trees in the yard and that's going to be expected we'll get them out eventually when the weather cools down a little bit more we still have a lot of the trees on that fence line on my neighbor's fence line which we have to figure out here soon but other than that i'm very happy with the outcome of how this went for us at least I know there were obviously more people that were affected by this storm than we were. Ian was a big, big storm for us and caused us a lot of damage. So 
and it took us like you know two years now to get back fully you know fixed so i am grateful for what has happened with our farm to say the least um, also our animals were all really good during it so i'm happy about that the evacuee little animals that were so cute the three little goats and the four donkeys were picked up they're back home um, their property took on some water but nothing crazy so they were able to go back home so i was happy that we were able to give them refuge here um, in a place to be while the hurricane happened and now they're back and everything is just kind of going back to normal all right you guys well that is my post hurricane milton update for you and i have a video for you guys really soon because i kind of had to I'm a little bit of a spoiler with some things that you may or may not have caught on and if you did catch on let me know in the comments down below and i might heart some comments that give it away but i will be posting that video very very soon probably like within the next couple days so you guys can know what's kind of changed here at our farm all right you guys well we love you and we'll see you in the next one